thought a car was coming. I guess it's not. But a very happy Thursday to you. I guess this is segment three. Again, I wasn't really figuring out that this was, these were going to be segments I would be doing, but it's kind of turned into that. The 1995 Black Ducks. Oh, man. This is... My mother's home. I really probably should just stop, but I got to keep moving. I got to keep going. So. Oh, my goodness. Let me see if I can restart this. The 1995 Black Ducks was segment one. So for the second or third retry here, I'm not sure which. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think this will this will just calm me down. You know it's coming. It is my crown black salute. Salute. All right, so today, I don't know, uh, a conical shape, I guess we could call that. And it's hard to see on here, but it actually does say crown black. So uh, some of these came in just crown. And then I have, actually I have quite a few in the house say crown black, so... I do love crown glasses. Mm. All right, so back to the topic. Whew. Again, I didn't know it was going to be segment one, but evidently segment one is the 1995 Black Ducks. I think I got one right here. There we go. The 1995 Black Ducks. Segment two, the 1996 Bufflehead, which leads us evidently to 1997. Now again, you can laugh if you want. You can laugh if you want. It's all right, but let's, let's see one that you can really see 1997. There you go, 1997. These are the 1997 Widgeon. Some areas, actually, the Upper Bay, they would be referred to quite often as ball pates. Here is the story on this Haverty Grace rig bird from 1997. I know there's some hens around because I did two hens. I just, I just don't know where they're at right now. Are you gonna take your walker? That's fine. You wanna say hi to everybody, Barbara? No. Just say it loud and they'll hear you. Hello, everyone. Say hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Insta Instagram. Me. Can you say Instagram, Barbara? Instagram. Yes, and can you? You're a big Facebook person, I know. Can you say hello to all our Facebook friends? Hello, Facebook friends. I'm really not sure the quality of all this. We got Duke parking that way. Rise, settle down. Uh, I don't even know where I'm at. I really don't. I really. <laughs> really don't no idea what kind of video this is gonna be all right so let's, let me try to recap and re rethink oh i was talking about hens yes there are two hens in this rig and i'm just i'm not really sure where they are right now i've got a lot of stuff spread really over four different locations i just found these the other day they were not here and i just i just brought them in kind of um well let me start on the wood so the, the wood that these bodies are that's not a good one here there you go they're hollow. These are hollow polonia cottonwood. I acquired this wood through our very good friend, Pat Vincenti, Vincenti Decoys. He bought out an old decoy company in Baltimore called Hutch Decoys down on Route 40. Uh, I used to say down because Harford County, Havity Grace down uh, from here, very far northwest from us. On Route 40 was Hutch Decoys and there was just a lot of junk. He gave me a lot of wood. He's like, do you want this? And anyway, these were just big pieces of polonia. Uh, if you know polonia cottonwood, it has very big growth rings, it's very lightweight. This stuff was old, so it was super dry. Actually, man, I wish I wish I was carving better because this wood, man, this wood was just so nice. So nice to carve with. And then today still, man, it's just super, super light. So, I don't know. I thought about almost possibly trying to repaint these, but then, you know, they are what they are from 1997. But anyway, 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 we got Polonia. The pattern, if you're curious, I cannot remember the exact name of his book, but Grayson Chesser from Virginia, Eastern Shore, Virginia. This is his pattern. I really can't remember whose style I tried to paint in, but this is Polonia, Grayson Chesser pattern. This is all Ronin oils still. The glass flounder eyes, the glass flounder eyes are in there for sure. <laughs> But I know at the time I was very, very happy with these. You know, today they're just something to smile and go, hmm, as I think back. The rig floated well, although I will have to say that again, the competition was stiff right in front of the museum. So I'm gonna rewind and stop a second here. The actual contest is right at the museum, the Decoy Museum, decoymuseum.com. Always the first full weekend in May. This year it's gonna be May 2nd and 3rd, 2020. There's a nice deck, not really a deck, it's a walkway, a promenade, a promenade, promenade. Anyway, right on the shores there of Susquehanna Flats, the lighthouse, Concord Light is to, uh, to the, the north, northeast, to the northeast of the museum. The birds are actually floated right out on the flats, the famed Susquehanna Flats where the sink boxes, the market gunning, and the decoy capital of the world is. They floated really nice, no ribbon, no ribbon. Another learning experience. Again, this this is still like my. I'm trying to find my way. Trying to find my way. 
trying to find my way through decoy carving. You know, I guess I guess my carving's improved. Yeah, I'll say the carving has improved from the first two years, from 95 and 96. The paint job, I don't know. I guess uh, I guess there's some improvement in there. I do find oils more difficult to paint with than acrylics, so this is all oils. Again, the 1997 Havity Grace Rigbird was widging. And speaking of materials, my sheets have been blown around here a little bit, I think. I've got a really nice find on some balsa wood. And I've been writing down, I've been trying to check out to see more or less what it would be compared to, I tried to figure out even for Cork what the board foot price would be. Uh, definitely dry cedar. We know what that uh, board foot price is. So on this balsa wood, 24 inch lengths and 36 inch lengths that are, they seem to be the common number is, is a three inch width and the thickness varies on them. So I'm sitting there trying to figure out, trying to figure out what's what with that for the carving material. The, the black ducks were done in Chesapeake cork. The buffalo head were done in black cork. I really can't remember where I got the black cork. And then these guys were the Polonia cottonwood from Pat Vincenti. Very nice and very kind to give me some. So the heads were basswood. I, I didn't say that. The heads are basswood. I think that uh, slight bit, well, definitely flounder eyed, but slight bit bubblegum chewers. Uh, my bills, I think the bills are, I'm, I'm learning the bills better. So the bills are, are kind of coming around for me. And I do have to say, off this head, it did help me with my modern day widgeon head. So these kind of, you know, they, they are what they are. They look like they look. I just want to show this real quick. My, my widgeon, my widgeon did improve, I think. This is a this is a current a current model, um, bird I'm really really pleased with. It's hollow cork with a bottom board, um, Alaska cedar tail and cedar heads, glass eyes all painted in Golden's heavy body matte acrylic. Just looking at the neighbors. So my widgeon do improve. So we're, we're going to talk about that in another time because there's some between this being my first widgeon and this being the most recent widgeon, there's a couple widgeon in between too. So And while I'm on that, check this guy out. I do like to be a, a little fancy and a little funky with the, with the carving style. He's hollow too. Hollow high density tan cork. This is not Wiley cork. This is imported from Portugal. That said, I think at the end here, I'm gonna, if you haven't seen the 1995 Black Ducks or the 1996 Buffalo Head, they're gonna be in here somewhere. I think I'm calling it done. Karen's gonna be off. Oh, it is Thursday. Karen is getting off a little bit early tonight. And typically and normally, we would go to OC Harborside, the West End in Ocean City. Right on the water, Harborside. If you follow along with us, you know it's one of our favorite places to eat. Speaking of eating, this morning was day number nine consecutively of the gym. Trying to make a little bit of change here and there. And I'm, I'm going to take advantage of the all-you-can-eat ribs and shrimp still this year. I will. I will. But just not tonight. I've got some uh, a nice sauce on the stove. Hopefully, uh, Gam. I call my mom Gam. All of my daughter and the nephews, they all they all call her Gam, so we call her Gam, but I hope, I hope she's in there. Sounds like she might be in there checking on it for me, so I think it's about it. I'll, I do like to ramble. If you follow along with me, thank you very much. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch. If you could, thumbs up, comments, questions, please share. If you don't like my widget, which I can kind of understand that, probably uh, Grayson Chester would be just shaking his head at this pattern. Well, I've done the, his pattern, but yeah, I think it's about it. So if you want to leave a thumbs down, I'm perfectly okay with that too. So as always... Now, I'm, before I do that, I'm going to say, I, I guess there's going to be a 1998. <laughs> a 1998 video next. It was Bluebill. They were black cork. Still hadn't transitioned yet. Still doing black cork in 1998. Not not all the time, but I had I did have some black cork in 1998. The heads are still basswood. And well, anyway, that's, that's all that's for another video, which will follow this one. But I will put the 1995, 1996 Black Ducks Buffalo Head in here. So if you haven't checked that out, thank you for doing so. So I'm going to give it to you. As always, as always, thinking of you, we are. Woo! Thank <laughs> you.